there's three batteries that sit up here. Okay. Um, and the package that I set sell comes with the correct plugs. It's it's weighted to basically go right against this bulkhead and it's perfectly CG. If you put the engine where it's supposed to be, which we really can't mess that up, <laughs> then it's 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 set to go. Plug and play turbine. Um, would you so somebody's got experience with like regular you know EDF offerings? Like if they're going to go turbine, mm -hmm. th this is a good way to this, get this into it. Good, this is a good plane to consider. Um, it is out of the box, like I said, ready to go in very minimal time. They also make an EDF version of this plane. I was going to say, guys are going to want to know. Yeah, it, they make they make a 105 millimeter EDF version of it, which flies very similar. In fact, I use the when I first got one of these, I used my my EDF program on the radio. I just do oh, nice. it and just at the same rate, same everything. And same CG. Same, same everything, yeah. Everything from HSD comes with these stickers underneath um, that have the CG marked. And on, on their airplanes, it's pretty spot on. Nice. You might want to move about you know, a couple And you have all the back. stuff, you have all the stuff for the EDF version as well. Mm -hmm. I sell all the enhancements on the EDF version uh, that will make it fly as turbine-like as you can get before you stick an engine in it. Nice. So. At rcjetworks.com. Correct. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Dude, I remember watching this at a jet jam. I was like, man, that thing is smooth. And the thing about this airplane, I mean, look at look at the, the length of it, nose to tail. When you take the wings off it, you can transport this on a car. Mm -hmm. You don't need, this is a turbine jet that you Well, you don't put need. it together in like five minutes. Yeah, you just put the wings on. The spar and the wings. And it's 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 truly the a very simple to transport and set up airplane. And then as far as building it when you pull it out of the box and the plastic, it's got probably the best fit and finish of any foam airplane I've ever seen. That's I've never awesome. seen anything that goes together this easily. But you don't have to push things together. You it's already to hinged in the control hole. Oh, yeah. And stuff. All that's done. You have, that's to put crazy. The, you have to put the, uh, the stabs crazy. on, the rudder, wings go in. <laughs> you have to put the the, uh, the forward end of the fuse. Yeah, I saw that. On. It comes with the bolts. Everything just bolts together. It's, it's really simple. And then you run the uh, your battery lines straight through it. It's so simple. So, are there two tanks? There's the two tanks. There's the fuel, and then there's the smoke. And so, what some guys. So, what's this one? That's the UAT. That's the ultimate air trap. So, when you fuel the plane, you fuel it into here. It pumps into the UAT, which is basically it's not a filter, but it's kind of a filter also, and it runs straight to the tank. Hmm. Tank then has a vent that runs out to the bottom of the plane, so that you're not bursting it, and then it has the fuel that runs back to the UAT and then from the UAT to your fuel pump. Fuel pump then So the UAT's the, uh, purpose is to pull out all the bubbles. Yeah. Ultimate air trap. So it's to pull out all yeah. the bubbles so you have just fuel straight going to right. the Right. So motor. no sputtering and junk like that. And this engine? So it's solid power, no no tricks. You already have a lag. You already you have don't a want lag. bubbles don't make too. It yeah, don't make really it worse. Make <laughs> this this engine um, compared to like older engines can take bubbles you can wow. we, we run these things for testing without a UAT and everything we purposely kink, kink the lines and everything we purposely do that stuff here it sputter maybe a little bit and then it keeps going no kidding you let the fuel back to it and it fires back up I mean it's not like the old engines where you get a bubble and it's just it's just gonna it's gonna die on you wow you that's good speed. some tolerance is nice the, the technology has improved immensely immensely and that engine just 10 years ago I mean what that was that was almost three thousand bucks. That yeah. engine. It's, they're fifteen hundred dollars shipped to your door. That's killer. With full warranty, everything's you know it's, it's 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 not it's not something you can't get parts for, get service to. It's it's uh, it's simple. Well, you support them. Yeah. 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 So you know the guy. Yeah. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't. I haven't. I mean, everybody that's bought one of these from me talks to me. And yeah. We talk and we and I ask them what they're putting it in, and when nice. I, then when they're installing it, if they have any questions, they call me. I talk them through anything. Um, typically, they're, they're, they're no nonsense. I've never gotten one back. I've never had one shipped back to me saying, hey, this won't run. This won't mm. do this, this won't do that. The uh, supplier that I buy them from tests run every one of them yeah, before yeah. they send it to me. That's good. They test run every single one of them before they send it to me. How many new jet guys do we have though now that, that, yeah. that might be ready? Never would take the leap straight to turbine at the beginning. Yeah. But because they wet they their whistle this. on all these EDFs, yeah. they like got the chops. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. 
they got the skills. So they, they never they heard this. Never the heard jump's this. easier to make from there. Yeah, exactly. Because their skill and yeah. because of the technology. And we think about it, like I was telling them. So funny. Uh, I, I mean, just in the last, I don't know, two, three years, I've probably bought five or six of these. Yeah. With everything we've been buying. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know, maybe not five or six, but we bought a couple of them. <laughs> you know, and yeah. I hear you know? guys say that you know, I, oh, I could never afford that. I would never pay that much money for an engine or an airplane or whatever. Yeah. And then you look at their their car, the what, they, what they've got sitting there yeah. that they're flying. It's You've already spent double spent. that yeah. on five or six EDFs that yeah. are, that total this anyway. Not to mention how many batteries. How many you go batteries? Through, Especially the batteries. You know, yeah, six cells. That's that's sixty bucks worth of batteries, yeah. and you can fly all day on that. I mean, two six S batteries that's is sick. 200 and, 200 and something bucks right yeah. there. And yeah. kerosene, you do that you're buying yeah. a forty dollar, you know, five gallon can of kerosene that lasts you. In this airplane, I can mean, fly all weekend. I can fly Friday, Saturday, Sunday on one big tank of, of look on the which is like side. what twenty bucks. During the winter time, the during the winter time, you sit in your living room, fire up the kerosene, heats yeah. up the house. Yeah, Dump, man, pulls double duty for you. Yeah, <laughs> you can, and then you can, uh, when you're done flying for the day, you can roast some weenies uh, at the yeah, back end. See the back. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, yeah. we really appreciate it. So well, fun. What I do before I ever start the engine is I, I'll give it a function test, check my control surfaces. Turn on the brakes, turn them off, make sure we have brakes. And then go ahead and start to do the uh, startup sequence. So are you doing something with the trim tab then first, or? Yes, it, oh, it, no. uh, it starts off with the trim tab going all the way to up, and then up and down on the throttle stick once it says that it's ready, and then shut the engine off, you go all the way to zero on the trim. So how's the idle? Does it want to move when it's on idle? Yeah, there's idle thrust. You it, have to hold idles, the brakes? You either have to hold the brakes or put or hold it hold the flank. It'll yeah, I, typically want to roll on you. The natives are getting restless. They are. <laughs> That's the engine firing. It's in the preheat mode. It's turning at 10,000 RPM right now. Wow. Temperature is at 250 and climbing. So now it's going to preheat up. Oh, goodness sakes. It's like a real deal, man. So you got a Nerf Vortex Howler whistle in there, right? Nerf Vortex Howler Whistle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll start to roll on you. wondering what it smells like, it smells like a charcoal grill. The fresh smell of charcoal. Now I'm smelling the jet A fuel like Heat. Feel the heat. Plug it in. Yeah. <laughs> Which side do you want me on? I'm gonna stay next to you. <laughs> Second flight of the day on the big Super Viper, turbine style, RC jet workized. 
Right, Andy? Look at that, man. <laughs> you got a tree like our field. And Andy, right, it looks just like it, doesn't it? it a lot like <laughs> Sometimes it. Sometimes you fly, <laughs> fly through a thing, I think you're going to hit it. Everybody does. It's the, it's the drama <laughs> quotient for making videos. Andy said he hadn't flown here for three years. Been a while in? That long in? I am ready. Get in a straight line and I'll take it. Okay, uh, I'm going to jump across the field, guys. I'm going to film yeah. over there. Yep. Oh my God. Um, first time on the sticks of a turbine. Dude, it's so smooth. Are you about half throttle? Where are you at? It's, uh, yep. Yeah, Can I come out of it a little bit? Um, point it down a little bit. Keep it close to the feet. Remember it weighs, but it's much fewer. It's going to weigh about 14, 15 pounds. All right. So it's not like a 90 millimeter you up in weight. Nice. I'm just taking some, I'm not going to be giving you uh, video review stuff yet. Okay. Oh, man. So rolls are cool and all that? Yep. yep. Point it up a little bit. Yeah. It's responsive. I like it. Yeah. Not bad for my first day. You know, I'm so electric that I want to like get out of the power and stuff a yeah. lot, but you really need to stay in it. Then. Well, you don't want to come out of it all the way, and you don't want to go, you don't want to need it all and then not have it. I'm just staying in it. Isn't that what you do? No, I go back and forth, but you know, right now, yeah, you're fine with just staying in it. First time, you know. Dude, so smooth. Like I said, just on looks alone, it's like the uh, T45. Dude, T45, but it, it, I, I mean, it is totally. Holy smokes, trainer feeling. Yeah. Like locked in, solid, predictable. You're half to that. It really does, and I love this little bit of uh, down stick when you're upside down is typical. Mm -hmm. I could see this being a real knife edge son of a beast. I'm not gonna do it yet. Okay, are you gonna land it? Yeah. Why don't you? I'm gonna hand it to you uh, on my uh, once I get out of this base light. Okay. He's going to hand it to you it. in an inverted dive. You keep on it, go ahead. All right, can I do a Cuban 8? Yeah. Yeah, let's see. Oh my word, look at that. I won't do a Cuban 8. How about I just stay up there? <laughs> Need to get back in the power. That's the lag, that's, that's the delay. Kind of, that's kind of what do you think about my throttle setting right now? Oh my goodness, the smoothness and the sound. Um, holy smokes, bro. I know the best feel, I guess. Yeah. All right, man. I know it's against the rules, but this is, for, this is just us. We're close today. <laughs> So you ever like to slow it down and do like slow flight and stuff mm -hmm. like that with these? Yeah. And very responsive. Yes. I was swinging out because I didn't want to be behind us here. Mm -hmm. Bro, here you go. Yeah. Oh. Oh man. <laughs> awesome. Oh man. I bet it lands like a baby doll. I don't know where the brakes are. <laughs> well, they should be in the wheels, Ryan. Oh, I see. Yeah.
That was uh, excellent. Judgment. Yeah. Because you're fighting the inclination to want to give it some pitch, aren't you? Yeah. Let it maintain. It was just too fast in my hands. There's the approach. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. 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 Look sexy, that counter turn. The, yeah. The brakes. On that uh, wet turn. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. This has been the introduction to Turbine Jet Experience brought to you by RCJetworks.com. <laughs> At rcjetworks.com, you can get HSD jets in turbine versions and EDF electric versions, as well as all the accessories you need to outfit <laughs> your fleet. Nice! Yes, nice. Ace! Um, so what do you think, Rai Rai? That was my first flight on turbine. It was fantastic. Um, Andy got her, took it off for me, and brought it down just because we're smart. But... Um, <laughs> That was amazing. I, I can't wait to do some more of that. I can't, the, the size, man, and how smooth it is, the sound, everything about it is dynamite. And, and what's unbelievable is that it's a foam aircraft with a turbine in it. Is this something, after you flew this, is this something that, that nearly any 90 millimeter pilot can master after a little bit? I think with the, the right coaching, like at the beginning just set up yeah it's just the details like the flying part no sweat yeah no sweat at all we, we appreciate you stopping by remember to subscribe tap the bell and we will see you next time